Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at So Magic 9 to 9 and today we're doing a Twin Flame conversation reading He said, she said So we have the masculine pile and the feminine pile So we're going to start off with what the masculine has to say And then we get on to the feminine So let's have a look at the masculine energies We have the Ace of Wands The sun, the star, three of wands, ace of cups, four of pentacles, queen of wands, five of pentacles, six of pentacles, and the ace of swords. So, well, overall, very positive. With the Ace of Wands, I feel the masculine is getting ready or getting clear in his mind about what action he wants to take moving forward because he wants that sun in his life again and you are that. You bring in that sun and you are the star, the wish fulfilment. You know, you are the woman that he desires and he wants to build something with you, with the Three of Wands. He wants a new beginning, building something together something solid and he's got his cup of love here we've got the ace of cups he wants to give you that love he's full of love these other energies are not so oh with the four of pentacles you know he's felt he's needed to hold on to things in the past i don't think it was just finances i feel it was his emotions he, he felt he couldn't express himself emotionally and then we've got the queen of wands so he sees you as that you know you're someone who's very independent you're possibly an aries leo or sagittarius fire sign or you have that in your chart you're fiery by nature you're very sexually you know magnetic to him he finds you very alluring you know he can't resist anymore and with the five of pentacles you know there was very sad money worries difficulties over finance and that's why i was holding on to that i think but things are improving in the financial front we've got the six of pentacles you know there's abundance coming in here and we've got the ace of swords so he's clear in his mind what action he wants to take you know with the ace of with the ace of um, wands he's very clear now He's clear about his truth and he's clear about what action he wants to take moving forward. I can't give you a timing on that though, but um, you know, he's getting that clarity now. So what other messages? We've got seduction, romantic surprises, passionate encounters and deep intimacy. Wow. So maybe he's going to come and seduce you, <laughs> give you a romantic surprise. Sounds promising. Then we have the ship, overseas travel. Maybe you're going to go away together. Maybe he's going to take you away for a little holiday. Or maybe you've got to go away um, for business reasons or something. But there's some sort of travel coming up here. The tree, here to stay and grow, sacred soul connection. So he wants to build these foundations with his feminine. He wants to build this stability with her. He's, you know, aware of this deep soul connection that you share. mask roles projecting emotions or hiding them so yeah i do feel the masculine was hiding his emotions behind a mask before this was very much self-preservation he'd been through hurt times he'd been hurt you know emotionally before and he didn't feel that he could be that vulnerable with you and show his emotions and especially maybe you were not showing your emotions either at that time cloud shadow and light we are all dark and light you know within us and we have to learn to balance that within us and recognize that part of us is not a bad thing it's finding that balance between the light and the dark book being open and intimate revealing secrets so i do feel when he does come forward he's going to want to be open with you and share his intimate side 
share some secrets with you that he couldn't share before maybe. I'm working on myself through healing, studying and my career. I want to be a better place for union. So he's, you know, doing some work on himself, doing his healing, maybe doing some studying to improve his career prospects. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Energetically, you're pushing me away with your anger and resentment. I'm sorry I hurt you, my love. So maybe some feminines are still feeling a bit angry, a bit rejected over this connection and are struggling to have compassion in their heart. So just soften your energies if you're able to, and then he will feel more able to come forward because energetically he doesn't feel he can approach you. This love scares me sometimes. How do you know what you know? You know all my thoughts, feelings and desires. I, can, I can't tell you bullshit as you instantly catch me in a lie and I call me out on it. Your authentic truth is so sexy. I want to be honest with you when I'm stronger. So yeah, we saw that. He does want to come forward when he feels stronger in himself. I feel you get in bed with me at night and hold me. I'm comforted by your loving presence. So yeah, maybe you're projecting yourself there astrally to comfort him at night. Somehow you always know when to reach out to me. You always know how I'm feeling and just what to say and how to help me. You feel the words that I don't say to you. I wish I could tell you how I truly feel. So energetically you're probably feeling how he's feeling. But sometimes it'd just be nice to hear it in 3D. I see your soul. I feel your presence. I hear your voice and I'm constantly receiving heavenly signs through angel numbers, spirit animals and music. I see your name and initials everywhere. I wonder if you've received signs too. So the universe is not letting him forget basically this connection, you know, or you. He's not going to be able to. We have that crazy kind of love, that hot passion. Even after all this time, that's why we get triggered by each other and argue. I find it such a turn on when you get mad with me because it shows me just how much you do care and that's so sexy. So yeah, a lot of men do get turned on by that, don't they? <laughs> if they get a woman riled up and she's feeling angry they do find that a turn on i've had a personal tarot reading to un understand our connection and because i believe we are destined to be together so yeah you know they're trying to work out what's going on here and they're doing their own research which is a good thing i consciously send you telepathic messages you can ask me anything and i'll respond in truth so if there's a question you have for your masculine and feminine you know send him a message telepathically ask him what you want to know and he will reply my higher self is with you loving you unconditionally and acting as one of your main spirit guides always so yeah he's always around you you know his higher self is always around you connecting to you giving you advice protecting you so what spirit got spirit is saying why the hell did you push them away to the masculine Un unblock them now you fool so some of you may be blocked tell them you love them before it's too late so tell masculines tell your feminine you love her in the 3d you know the timing is off don't push it so wait for the right timing get your shit together and start clearing up the mess she made so spirit want masculines to get their shit together and clear up the mess you know so they can move forward with their love life so what does the masculine want to say? Each night before I go to sleep, I hold you in my arms, kiss you. Some mornings I wake to sexual feelings. Is that you thinking of me? So I join in, but I want the real thing. When I'm working, I suddenly hear your voice in my head or the moans of pleasure we made when we made love, and I find myself getting aroused. I close my eyes and you're there. Your beauty, your sensuality, your sexuality overwhelms me. You have a light around you. I cannot see it, but I sense it very strongly. Is that what they call an aura? What is it that you see in me? You could have anyone. I know how other people desire you. When we met, you had lots of other connections. I was jealous. I never told you this. My love for you is as deep as the ocean, as wide as the sky, as high as a mountain. It's never ending till the end of time. Please know that I'm so ashamed of the way I treated you, that's why I feel it's difficult for me to face you right now, but I want to come forward and apologise. I want to kiss you again and again and feel the taste of your lips, it's intoxicating, with your scent and the feel of your hair, I'm aroused once more. 
So even though you're not with him, he's still remembering those moments you shared. So let's just get a final love message from your masculine. So things are starting to move forward here. Obviously this is a general reading, okay. Insatiable desires, longing for you, wanting you all the time. I don't desire to hold you in my arms. I want to make love to you and only you always. Know this, if you're thinking of me, I'm thinking of you, my precious love. So there are the messages from the masculine. So I hope that resonated. So now we're going to go to the feminine messages. Hello, so now we've got the feminine messages. So we have clarity. Four of stars. Queen of trees. King of Hearts, Universe, Page of Angels, Ten of Angels, the Ego, Three of Angels, Strength, Queen of Angels, Page of Hearts, The Empress, and The Star. So we've got the Hierophant and the Four of Stars. So stars are wands, so that's, yeah, that's to me is like the feminine is wanting that commitment, you know, that building that foundation with her masculine. She wants... To be traditional, she wants to have that commitment. Queen of Trees, feminine could be a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very nurturing, very stable, very grounded, you know, the sort of woman a lot of men would want as a wife and a mother. And then we have the King of Hearts, so this is the King of Cups, and we've got Healer here. So this is somebody who's very self-aware of their emotions very in touch with their emotions somebody that helps others and is very emotional in their life and then we have the universe which is the world and this so things are opening up you know there's going to be new opportunities coming in and with the page of angels there could be angels is swords there could be a message coming in um soon that gives you clarity and then ten of angels is like the ten of swords so there's again been a time of retreat like healing sleepless nights depression anxiety dark night of the soul um which obviously the masculine went through that as well and then we've got the tower collapse of the ego so again you know the universe will step in and, and cause you know changes massive changes in people's lives for them to take action and move forward in the right way so there's been heartbreak here and the feminine has found her strength through the heartbreak she's worked her way through she's healing and we've also got the queen of angels which is the queen of swords um she's someone who's you know this is an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And she's somebody who sees the truth of the matter. She's quite logical. She's not actually in her heart space. She's more in her head space. So this could be some of you feminines watching. And then we've got Page of Hearts. So there could be a communication coming through about love very soon. Somebody wants to communicate how they feel. And the Empress, You, some of you feminines are now at that Empress or seen as the Empress by your masculine, you've, you've achieved that growth, that spiritual wisdom, you've worked through your heartache and your pain, and you've come out the other side as, as the Empress, and you have the stars, so you have hope in your heart that things will 
change in this connection and things will move forward in this connection and if not in this connection things will just generally move forward in your life so what else have we got here choice ascending to a high place infinite possibilities can indicate indicate choices in love as i said there could be a choice in love here okay love language social media text or calls so you could be getting a call or making a call or sending a text or receiving a text in the near future compass guidance goals and direction so you've you've found your inner compass i feel a lot of you you're setting yourself goals you're accepting guidance from the universe and beyond to help you in your goals to help you achieve your you know things for yourself in life and then we have sun confidence courage success and happiness so yeah you want to you know have that happiness in your life you want to have that confidence you want to have that you know contentment that joyful happy life then we have labyrinth twists and turns no shortcuts to destination so yeah when you're going through difficult times like dark night of the soul you know the ten of swords energy you know you've got to work do the work you've got to do the healing work on yourself and pay attention and you know heal those wounds and move forward and and acknowledge your dark side and just move forward afterwards stalk spring upgrades evolution and family so this could show that some of you are going to have family in the future children or babies could be pregnancies you know babies on the way in the next few months twin flame you mirror each other for growth and healing so yeah you know your twin flame connection you are mirroring each other at this time you're both in that stage of going through healing possibly dark night of the soul you know to get through and come out the other side as a butterfly basically key synchronicity signs and fate so yeah i think this is the key you know you have the key to each other's heart you have the key to unlock that soul connection there's synchronicities and signs coming up because you are destined to be together fish spiritual and sorry financial and spiritual abundance so you don't necessarily have to be in this connection to receive this but i do feel if this connection if you do come into union at some point you're going to have a lot of abundance you know financial spiritual abundance but you can have that on your own or in any other connection it's just focusing and manifesting that for yourself into your life let's get some healing messages thank you for always believing in me with your love nobody can get me down i look at everything you send me and i'm doing the inner work so your masculine could be the one who's sending you information here i'm a mess right now i'm so fucking confused and don't know what i want at this time i need to go with him for answers I feel you disrespected me and betrayed me. I'm a loyal person and I want to feel that I can completely trust you. Please acknowledge the hurt you've caused me as this will help me heal. So a lot of masculines have hurt their feminines but haven't even acknowledged it at this point. I'm working through my fears so I can explain everything to you one day. So yeah, you're both doing the work. You're both doing that inner work at this time. I feel you hear me with your sexual fire energies and I love how you turn me on and heal me with your love all at the same time. I yearn to heal with you in sexual union. So that physical desire you have for each other is very healing. You know, when you've been together intimately, it has given you both a lot of healing. And there's a desire on both parts to have that again. What you see on social media is an illusion of a happy life. I'm just settling and most of the time I'm absolutely fucking miserable. So some of you may be posting things on social media to make it look like you're happy and you're living the best life but you know to show your masculine that you're happy but i don't see the point in that really just be honest my desire is to be with you but i can't ask you to wait because i'm burdened by a sense of duty and responsibility so some feminines have got other duties and responsibilities at this time I'm working on my strategy to come towards you. Please have mercy on me because just when I think I'm ready, you cut off communication and shut me out or push me away with your anger. I want to fix things between us. So, you know, for some, the masculines are blocking and 
you know, not allowing the feminines to communicate with them in a clear way, so that's very difficult. My life has felt so fucking pointless without you and I've had suicidal thoughts. I know I need to learn how to love myself and forgive myself, but I'm struggling to get past my mistakes. So yeah, it triggers, you know, these lack of communications, these separations, it triggers a lot of wounds within each person and they have, you know, both of you, the masculine and feminine, have to do that work to heal yourself, to become whole, to love yourself, to build up that self-esteem so that you're not dependent, you're not codependent on each other for your love and happiness. I wish I told you how I felt back then. My feelings haven't gone away, they're still growing no matter how deeply I try to bury them. I'm trying to find the words and gain the strength to express my truth too soon. So I feel that's, you know, again mirroring, I think the masculine and feminine are both you know, of that opinion, they want to start sharing how they're feeling in the physical world. So what spirit got? Forgive and move forward, you have to. So, yeah, forgive your masculine and forgive yourself, feminine. They want to put a ring on it. So they're telling you that your masculine is ready to commit. And we had that come up, didn't we, in your reading. We had the Four of Wands there and the Hierophant. Dancing and manifest. So raise your vibration by dancing, singing, feel joyful in your own life at this time. Let them go, they will be back. So stop trying to control the situation, stop trying to cling on. Just let them go for now, okay? You're always energetically connected anyway. Just, you know, when you love someone, you set them free. And if they're meant to be, they will return. The new space, you need to go out and date. So possibly you need to just... You know, just carry on living your life. Don't put your life on hold, as we say. You know, just go out there and if you meet someone and you want to date them, just go for it. So what does the feminine want to say? Can we start again? A clean slate, you and me. Will you give me another chance? Do you know my thoughts? Can you read minds? It feels like you can sometimes. When we've made love, I want to do it again and again and again. I'm always ready for you. The times we spent together are some of the happiest memories of my life so far. I want to make new memories with you. Thinking about you is my guilty pleasure, and when I think of you it makes me smile and I get horny. Tell me your secrets, I want to tell you mine, no judgement on either side. I wanted to tell you how I felt, but I didn't trust myself. I just feel I hurt everyone I love, it's not deliberate, but it seems to happen, and I didn't want to hurt you. I remember those intimate times we shared and I would play them in my mind. I wish it was reality once more. The last time I saw you I felt you were not being truthful with me about your feelings. Your masculinity I found so alluring, so intoxicating, something irresistible about you. You are so damn sexy, it was the powerful essence of you. So let's just get some final love messages. So, you know, both are feeling the pull. You know, they still haven't lost that connection and desire for each other. It's, but at the moment, you know, they're doing their inner work. Both masculine and feminine are working on themselves at this time. I've never felt love like this before. It's magical. I'm under your spell. Tell me, do you feel my heart talk to yours? You're amazing. You never stop surprising me, baby. When I look at you, I feel a bolt of electricity between us. You amaze me. So there are your messages, my feminine. So I hope that helped in some way. So please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see you in my next video. Many blessings. Take care.